Okay, we're going to do a, a general uh, shoulder taping technique. All right. Again, uh, most shoulder. There's many things that can get that can go wrong with the shoulder. All right. Commonly, what we find is what we call an impingement syndrome. That's basically where a tendon gets caught underneath the uh, the acromion, underneath over here, and there's a little bit of inflammation there. The tendon gets irritated. You try and lift your your shoulder up, and it catches. That's typically where you have normal movement, but you have pain when you try and lift it up. Now the tendon that's commonly involved there, okay, is one of the rotator cuff tendons called the supraspinatus tendon. It's a muscle that starts here, forms a tendon and attaches underneath over here. And it often gets pinched when you lift the shoulder up. Okay, so that's one of the, one of the problems that we'll get. Typically when that happens, you'll start to get some problems in the biceps and also the shoulder might have a little bit of instability inside it too. All right, it tends to pop and crack. So I'm going to teach you a really simple um, shoulder technique that covers most of the potential problems that could go wrong. So for this one, all right, we're going to just try and tape around the actual shoulder. Okay. All right, remember what we always do is we try and round the edges. So what you would do in this case here, you would want to start towards the front of the shoulder. Okay. Then if we're trying to kind of uh, affect the, the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles, we need to put that muscle under a stretch. So what I'm getting Michelle to do is to kind of like pull her arm forward there, all right? And then we're going to put down this tape. That's important because kinesio taping works on the basis that you're affecting the skin, so you must, you, you must stretch the skin, and therefore you're affecting the, the Golgi tendon organ and the muscle spindles that sit in the muscles underneath. So we're going to kind of just tape generally across here, all right, at about 50% of a pull, and put the rest down like that, and then rub it, okay, all right, so that it's, it's, it sticks nicely. Don't worry, sometimes you might get a little bit of crumpling, it's not the end of the world, okay, all right, but we want to have it nice and, nice and warm, okay, that's the one component of it, all right. What you can do is you can also look at going towards the actual bicep itself. The bicep often starts to work a little bit more because the muscles at the back of the shoulder are not functioning properly. So then what we would do is we would just do a very simple biceps technique. All right, where I always like to split the tape for the biceps. We split down the middle, we round the edges, okay. And then what we're going to be doing in this case again, all right, is there, I straighten her arm, all right, we're going to run around there, and then around here, to cover the actual biceps tendon, and then if you want to give her a little bit of uh, shoulder support, what you can do, so typically what happens is that this is the acromioclavicular joint, Sometimes uh, shoulder injuries involve damage to this ligament here and it tends to fall down and that causes some pain. So what you can do for this one is just split it in the middle. Okay. They're almost like tabs that you create. You've got one tab on the left, one on the right. Okay. Just flip it over like that with the tab and just put it straight down over the shoulder like this. Just relax your shoulder straight across like that. So we're pulling down equally on both sides just to give her a little bit of support at the top of the shoulder. Okay, that's a nice general shoulder technique.